Hey y'all and welcome to Monner's Market and welcome to my summer frenzy video. Today's video is part of my OG group that we do on the 20th of every month and this month is summer. I've got a couple of cute things for you so let's just jump into DIY number one and see what I got for you today. How about that? For DIY number one, I'm making this adorable little outdoor fire pit, grill, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start with this little tray that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and it has rollers on it. It is 14 inches from left to right, and it rolls just as smooth as it can be. Now, I want to paint mine and distress it like I do everything else in my world, but you can leave it that color. You can paint it whatever color you want to paint it. You can make it orange with pink polka dots for all I care. Make it you. And then once we get it painted down, and I actually gave it two coats of the white Waverly chalk paint. And, you know, my theme at my house is just farmhouse, farmhouse, farmhouse. Well, on the second piece, I forgot to paint the outside of my little pot. So you will not see it done in the video, but I did go back afterwards and paint it because it just looked better that way. But anyway, as usual, I distressed it down with my Waverly Antique Wax. And it looks kind of yucky right now, but when I get it to put it all put together, it'll look cute. Now, this is where we do it. You must, absolutely must have a metal bowl from the Dollar Tree. You can't use plastic for what we're going to do because it will melt. But metal is key. Now, you want to get one of these big packs of rocks. You want to put your bowl in the middle and just go all around and fill in the, you know, the spot on the outside. This is going to do two things. It's going to hold your little middle fire bowl in place, and it's also going to make it look very cute. So once I get the rocks in, then I'm going to grab a couple of bags of sand. And the sand, like the rocks, you can get in several different colors there at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to use two bags of sand because like I said my bottom bowl is pretty big. The table that I'm setting it on outside at my house is really long and it has a glass top on it so this thing just slides up and down and up and down that table like a dream. And anyway so I'm going to put this sand in there and I covered up my rocks with the sand, and I didn't want to cover up my rocks with the sand. I just wanted to add a little bit of weight to that and sort of keep my middle bowl in place. But once I seen I covered them pretty rocks up, I just shook it around and wiggled it a little bit to expose some of those rocks back up there because I thought it's pretty like that. So now I'm going to take some of these glass shards again from the Dollar Tree and again you can get them in basically any color you want to get them in. I wanted to keep mine fairly neutral so that's why I went with this color. Now I'm using two bags because this bowl that I got was fairly deep. They do have one that's a little bit thinner that's got a rubber piece on the bottom. You can um, use that one and only probably need one bag with that. So now I'm going to take this. This is totally random here y'all. It's totally optional. It's a little diffuser bottle with some smell good stuff in it. And I just wanted my fire to smell good. Or I wanted to see if I could make my fire smell good. And it actually worked. Now these, again, you can get at the Dollar Tree. And because my bowl was so deep, I bought two of them. But y'all, I could not get that daggum top off of neither one of them. It was like it was just soldered to it. And you could not get it off. So I had to end up taking a knife and punching a couple holes in it and just shaking it down in there. And look at yonder, y'all. Is that not beautiful? I love it. I love it. Now, it does look cute with it sort of that red bowl shining, but it looks prettier now that I've got it on the outside that I've got it white. It does look prettier to me anyway. But um, look at that, y'all. I absolutely love it. But that's enough about that one. Let's talk about this one, DIY number two. I am so crazy about the way this turned out. You can get these signs at the Dollar Tree every summer. And only thing about it is they only go one way. 
So what I had to do is paint one side and take the um, paper off the other one and flip it over and use it so that I had a left and a right shoe, right? Then I gave it a white coat or, you know, a coat of white Waverly chalk paint. And then I went in with my rope. It's the nautical rope. And I made the little, 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 <laughs> the little toe things, you know, the straps. And I used that tape to tape them together. And then I used the twine to just make it look cute and to hold it together. Once I got the twine around it, I glued them down, glued them in place. And I am so in love with the way they are already looking. But because this is summer, now that's as summer as it gets, right? There's a pair of flip flops, right? But I wanted to cuten it up a little bit. And I'm going to do that by using some of these, tra not transfers, but um, stickers that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And I found these gorgeous sunflower stickers and they have the cutest little beads on them and I just love them. I don't know, did I mention I gave it just like a distressed coat of the white Waverly chalk paint. I was so into that first DIY, I kind of got a little bit sidetracked on this one. Anyway, now I'm going to take me some wood glue that you get from the Dollar Tree and a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to glue these together and I'm going to make me a little door hanger out of them. Once I get them glued together, I'm going to go ahead and decorate them with those really, really pretty stickers that you can get from the Dollar Tree. But look at how cute those things have turned out. Now, aren't these sunflowers just the cutest thing you've ever seen? And wait till you see what they do to these shoes. They are going to look so cute on there. So I'm just gonna peel my sticker off and I'm gonna put it inside my shoe, trim it down. I'm gonna do the other thing, the other one on the other side rather. And I'm gonna take this little welcome sign that Lord have mercy, they ain't no telling when or where I got it. I'm sure the Dollar Tree, but I've had it for a long time. So I'm gonna add that there and then I'm gonna take me some Mod Podge and I'm just gonna Mod Podge the whole thing and I'm going to seal that in and I'm going to give my little door hanger a really cute finish. Now all I need here is a little hanger. So I'm going to take me some little 20 millimeter beads. I'm going to leave them raw so I, so they'll match or at least I think they match better like that. And I'm going to make me a hanger and that is all there is to making this adorable door hanger. Y'all look. Tell me in the comments what you think about that. I am crazy about this. I love it. It's so summery and it's so cute. And it's just the cutest little thing when you walk up to a house, especially here in Florida. You know I live in Florida. So you walk up to my house and I'm a big beach fan. Like I am a beach girl. I will be at the beach tomorrow as a matter of fact. But um... Ain't they cute, y'all? Let me know down in the comments what you think about DIY number two. I love them. I think they're just the cutest. Look at them little bees. Now, for DIY number three, I found these candlesticks here at the Goodwill. And I got them for 99 cent a piece. And I like them, but they were just as ugly as they could be. So I sanded them down and got all of the stuff that didn't need to be on there no more off. Washed them up real good and cleaned them. And I gave them two coats of ivory chalk paint. And when I gave them two coats of ivory chalk paint, they looked brand spanking new. They looked so pretty. And they actually could have been left just like that with that facelift that I gave them. However... You know me, that's not going to match anything I have without being distressed. So, I grabbed me one of them little sponges from the Dollar Tree, and I went to work. But I'm going to tell you what, this, like, it killed me. Because it took me forever to get them things distressed down. Now, it don't look like I fought with it here because of, you know, me being able to speed it up. But Lord have mercy, it probably took me 30 minutes to distress them down. It's like I could not get through that paint 
and chalk paint's easy to get through. I think it was the finish that was on them to begin with. It didn't want to come off, but look how pretty they turned out, y'all. Now, I bought these at the Dollar Tree and had a completely different use in mind for them. But I decided to put them on top of my candlesticks and see if I would like it like that. So I took some E6000 and some hot glue and I glued them down. And once I got that done, all I had to do was decorate them. So I'm going to show you two different ways that I could style this. One in my normal farmhouse style and the other I'm going to show you some melts and it's the prettiest little set of lemons and I want you to look at the contrast and the difference in one to the other but what I'm doing is showing you just because I like farmhouse on it doesn't mean that you can't add your little twist to it and make them just as beautiful as you want them to be to match your decor in your house. So let me show you what they turned out like with the real pretty farmhouse flowers on it. Look at yonder. Look at that. Ain't that pretty, y'all? Oh, I just love it. Just love it. I know they're candlesticks, and I know I don't have candles in them, but I still think they are pretty just like this. That's right up my alley right there, y'all. I love it. It goes pretty with my little sign I made the other day. Ain't that cute? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And now look at it like this. Look at that. It's a whole new look, ain't it? It's a whole different look. It went from farmhouse to funky, or whatever you want to call it. But ain't it pretty? I mean, I really like it like this. It's so clean and so pretty, and oh, I just love it. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, not use the baskets and put the little cups that you can get at the Dollar Tree. They're little, like, wine goblets or whatever they call them. And you can glue that to the top, and then you just have your little, you know, some little votives on top of them there's a ton of things you can do with a 99 cent candlestick from the goodwill and here's just a, an example right here but i love them let me know down in the comments which was your favorite was it the farmhouse or was it the lemons <laughs> believe it or not mine's the lemons y'all i know you're probably gonna fall out your seat when you hear that but it's actually the lemons anyway let's get into my last diy diy number four now this is just a cute little box that i made with some dollar tree stuff and i think i got this back at valentine's day actually so i'm gonna remove that little ribbon right there and i thought that that little strip going around it see that right there i thought that was a real ribbon but it wasn't it was actually painted on there and I took my white Waverly chalk paint and I gave it two really good coats of the paint to cover up all of that pink. Once I got it covered up, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a rub-on transfer on it. It's another one of the rub-on transfers that Michelle sent me and it's actually the rub-on transfer that I have been looking all over for. And I love it. It is my absolute favorite Dollar Tree rub-on transfer ever. I'm obsessed with this transfer. And if I had a hundred of them, I'd use a hundred of them. Ain't it pretty, y'all? I love this. I love it. So I'm just going to take my little squeegee. And I'm going to squeegee the whole thing on there. All the way around the box as far as it'll go. Look how easy it is. It really is that easy to put on the box. You can use your fingernail, you can use a squeezy, you can use a credit card, you can use basically anything you want to use because it don't take much to do it. Now, all of these ribbons here came from, guess where? The Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use the chevron one first and I'm going to glue it down. Now, that chevron one, chevron one is really pretty. I could have stopped right there and it would have been pretty. But... You know, I'm a little bit extra, so I'm going to use something else. And this is just like a little satin. The next one is just like a little ribbed satin piece of ribbon. I'm going to go around the whole thing with that. 
And then I'm going to take one of their farmhouse burlap lace pieces. Now this comes in four different styles and I like this one. It's really cute. And I'm just going to go all the way around and just build on that ribbon and look at how pretty it's starting to come together. I love it. I think it's just as cute as it can be. Now I'm going to take the two smaller ribbons and I'm just going to make me a little bow, just a plain little shoestring bow or whatever kind of bow you want to call it, a simple bow. And I'm going to put that right on the top. Now you were going to see me put a little green half bead on there, but I ended up taking it off because in my opinion, it instantly made it tacky. And I don't know what it was about it. I don't know if it raised it up too high. I don't know if it was the color, which, you know, the, the leaves on it are green, but it's so pretty. And I just ruined it by putting that little green dot on it. But I do go back and I take it off. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put me a couple of these knobs on the bottom, but because I'm putting it on top of that ribbon, I'm going to have to take another piece of ribbon and double it over and put my little feet on top of that ribbon because it would have been wobbly. You know what I mean? It would have been wop-sided had I not done that. I had to raise the right side up to meet the left side because of that ribbon that's on there. And now I'm just going to take my little sander and just dust it off and sand off a few little pieces that didn't look right. And that's literally all there is to it other than removing that little green bead on the top. I don't know. There was just something about that bead that just made it tacky. So I took the bead off and look at there. Look at the difference. I do want to know, do you like it with the bead or without the bead? I happen to like it without the bead. But either way, it's the cutest piece and so easy to do. So easy. Look at that ribbon, y'all. Ain't that pretty? I love it. Look at that rub on transfer. How can you not fall in love with that thing? Oh, I just love it. The colors and everything. Like everything. There's not one single thing about this that I don't love. I think it's just so pretty. So let me know down in the comments what you think about my DIY number four. I love the little bike too, y'all. Now let's get into my final reveal. And I'm going to show you this like that and that like that. <laughs> I didn't know how else to do it because it was hard to get all of them together in like a final reveal thing. No, it's good. But let's take one more look at my fire. Ain't that pretty, y'all? I love it. And it just burned and burned and burned. And I sat right there and watched it too. And then that, look, that's the little candlesticks and the little box. I love it. Now there's little flowers. I just dropped them down in there is all I done. I didn't do nothing fancy. I just literally picked them up, plopped them down in there, and that was it. It was done. Ain't it pretty though? I love it distressed. Do you like these better distressed or do you like them better with just a paint job on it? I know if you're a distressed kind of person, you'll like them distressed and vice versa. If you don't, if you're not, you don't. Or you know what I mean, you won't like it distressed. But ain't they pretty? I love them. For 99 cents, shoot, you can't beat them. And then, you know, with the little basket on top, that's what, 225 or 224 if you want to get technical. So I don't even have four dollar or five dollars rather in the whole set of those candlesticks, and I just love them. And that little box, dollar twenty-five, and then a little bit of ribbon off of a few spools of ribbon, and then the little feet, and that's it. That's it. Oh, the the little um hanger, the little shoe door hanger. I love that. Ain't that precious, y'all? I think it's so cute. Anyway, I know you were just here a couple days ago with my Tuesday night video, so I really appreciate you coming back today for this one. I want you to go down to the playlist below and go see the other ladies and see what they've done for you for some summer inspiration. And I will see you next Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. If for some reason you've never been to my channel before, welcome. 
My name's Brenda, but my sweet grandbabies call me Moner. I want to tell you to come join me next Tuesday at 8. And as always, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.